What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Oh, time has flown by. I wanted to uh, do a quick video and talk to you guys and, and really kind of give you a reflection of my thought process as the world turns, which used to be a soap opera years ago. The world is changing in a very fast pace and, and sometimes when things happen so fast, it's hard to really sit back and take a snapshot in time of what is really happening. We've heard, well, at least people close to my age, we've heard there'll be a time when we as a, as a population or as a civilization would be begging for the government to take away our rights. Seems like it's happening now. You know, I watch the news. I'm, I'm, I'm not really as much into politics as I used to be, but you know, some things you can't help but watch. You know, I'm watching this whole Parkland massacre situation uh, that is really horrible. You know, this teenager goes into a school and murders 17 kids. Today was the uh, the march on Washington, where half a million students from around the, the country marched on Washington for more gun rights. I mean, I guess less gun rights for more gun laws and more restrictions on guns. And some things I can I can kind of understand. You know, I was driving with Kate earlier today, and she said something that was reasonable. She said, I don't think there's anything wrong uh, with these gun loopholes, for, with them closing them, where you can walk into a gun show and buy a gun. And you know what? I, I completely, I can agree with that. You know, I own guns, and uh, I think that there should be some regulations on people being able to just walk out and go on Craigslist and buy a gun and exchange hands so easily without anyone knowing anything about it. Uh, I think it should be harder to do than that. But it gets to the point where you're watching the situation occur and, you know, question marks start popping up, you know, above your head when you're watching it and you're wondering if you're the only one that's noticing. Uh, there's this kid, uh, I think his name's Steve Hogg. That might not be his first name, but he's uh, kind of the front runner of the Parkland students who's been out there uh, in the front lines, uh, you know, attacking the NRA, the National Rifle Association, attacking people who are strong uh, advocates of the NRA, people who are strong Second uh, Amendment believers and people who believe in the Constitution. And basically, uh, putting them in the category as people who want children to die, murderers. And it's just insane. It's just really stupid. Now, let me ask you a question. Who has the most uh, information in life? Usually people who are older. Who has uh, experience in life? Usually people who have experienced things. Why in the hell are rational adults acting like a bunch of high school students have the key to the, the answer to this thing? They are where we were 20 years ago, 30 years ago, why are we pretending that just because children were victims, that now children are the ones who make the laws? It's, it's the most backwards type of thinking I've ever heard in my life. No one should be murdered, you know, if things were, all things being equal. You know, I think that the life of an old person is just as valuable as the life of a child. If one had to go before the other, of course, I'd prefer the old person to go. But I think that life is life. And I think that anyone who's taken away, their family is affected. And, and I think that murder in general is a really bad thing. But just because it's children being murdered, people are emotional. And people are up in a fervor over, you know, bump stocks, which wouldn't have changed 99% of any of these shootings. The real issue with these these shootings, in my opinion, is mental health, which is really an issue in a lot of different categories in modern American society that no one really talks about. These these shooters have had mental issues. They've had police called on them. They've had issues with their parents and with the law, and they've shown signs that were basically ignored. And they were able to go into these places and murder these people like shooting fish in a barrel. And so for people who, in my opinion, aren't able to critically think, the answer is to restrict the right of law-abiding citizens to have guns. And that somehow will stop the criminals. That'll make it harder for them. Let me explain something to you. If you take a gun away from a law-abiding citizen, if you make it illegal to have a certain type of gun, 
The people who are breaking the laws do not care about the law you just created. All you're doing is taking away the ability of someone who's law-abiding to protect themselves and their family as stated and their property as stated in the Constitution. You define the Constitution. There's no, nothing, no law a person can pass that'll make a criminal pay attention to it. They don't care. Now, this is something to think about. You know, there are people out there, you know, I work with a guy, a guy named Mike, who told me, he said, man, I don't think there should be any guns in America. I said, are you, are you kidding, right? He said, no, man, what, what do we need guns for? We don't need guns. We can do, you know, other things. And I was like, well, I understand where you're coming from. You know, uh, everybody's allowed to have their opinion. And, and that's one thing I, I believe in. I think everyone's allowed to have their opinion. Nowadays, the popular thing is to shout down people who you don't agree with. And I don't give a damn who doesn't agree with me. I don't care. You know, I'm going to say my piece. This is America. I don't care if a million snowflakes scream from the top of the roof that I can't have my opinion. I'm going to have it. You don't have to agree with it. You might agree with it, but this is my opinion. This is the thought. Our Constitution is the thing that defines us from every other nation. The Constitution of, of the United States. The sovereign rights we have as citizens. And you might not like them all. You might like some. But the ones you don't like, you better damn well fight your ass off to keep. Here's a thing called precedent. If you set a precedent where you're able to change a constitutional right because you don't like that right, you have just created a precedent where someone can change one you do like. So I explained to this guy I work with, I said, man, you're real, real stupid to not want any guns and to think that, you know, banning guns or outlawing guns is somehow a good thing for the country because your right of free speech could be taken away. Your right to not be illegally searched and seized could be taken away by people who don't believe the same thing that you believe. And that's a real issue that a lot of people aren't really thinking about. Let me explain something to you. Guns, I, I know that it's not popular to say this in modern media, especially if you're watching mainstream media, guns don't kill people. Crazy people kill people. They do it with trucks. I didn't see anyone put a ban or a restriction on renting U-Haul trucks after that guy ran down those people in New York. I didn't see any kind of law or restriction for that. I didn't see any kind of law for all these people running people down, mowing people down on sidewalks to put a restriction on the speed of your car. You know why? Because cars don't kill people. People kill people. And restricting guns is just... An Orwellian way to take away your rights. But the funny thing is these idiots, and if you're one of them, I'm sorry, I'm talking to you, are literally begging the government to take away your rights. A right that you might need one day. You know, I'm sure that at least one of those kids during that shooting in Parkland wished that they had a gun. I bet you at least one of them did. I guarantee you that that went through the minds of more than one child that they wish they had a gun to protect themselves with. And now we have politically driven partisans using children, standing on the graves of the dead children and using living children who don't have any experience in life to push an anti-American agenda. It is so frustrating. I'm watching this in slow motion. I can't turn away. I feel like I'm watching that car wreck in slow motion. I'm just waiting for the bodies to go flying out the window because you know it's bad. That no adults are speaking up saying, hey, look, we understand that you guys are emotional. We understand this is a horrible situation. We've seen these things. Actually, gun violence in America is, is really at one of its lowest points. It's the lowest it's been in years. But somehow it's an epidemic. You know, if people really care about gun violence, they would ban handguns because actually handguns are 99% of the fatalities and injuries caused in America. So, you know, 17 is a big deal, but no one's talking about the people in Chicago. Come on. You don't see the politically driven narrative here. And another thing to think about, like the church where the guy went in there and shot up those people in the church and killed all those innocent people and children. The guy across the street had an AR-15 and he killed the guy who was murdering those people. Thank God for that gun, right? It's okay to be happy for him to have a gun. But now we have these partisans who want to remove your right, take away your right to have a gun, to protect yourself. Hell no. 
there are still people in this country who believe in this country. I believe in this country. I don't believe in, in the agenda that's being pushed forward to turn this country into something else. I'm sorry. I am not a snowflake. I, I apologize. I am who I am. I may, you know, be on YouTube and be in social media with people who don't agree with my, my mentality or the way that I think, but that's fine. I'm able to be around people who I don't necessarily agree with on political aspects of life and still be able to function. I don't scream to the top of the, the you know, from the mountaintop and, and shout people down. I apologize. But this is just the way I feel. This is insane that people aren't speaking up. How in the hell can you actively say it's a good idea to restrict guns from legal people somehow like it's going to uh, <laughs> stop the criminals? And another thing to think about, all these ma mass murders, all these shootings that happen have one thing in common. Well, more than one thing in common. Uh, let's look at some, some points. There's a deranged person, usually someone with mental illness, who has access to a gun. And it's a, in a, a no-gun zone. A gun-free zone is usually the catalyst that these mass murderers choose when they want to go and commit these crimes. They're not going to walk into a gun store and start shooting people. Why? Because they know that laws have been passed in gun-free zones and gun-free areas, and they can go in there and do whatever they want to anyone they want without with reckless abandon. And no one understands this? And people think it's a good idea to make every place a gun-free zone for these people? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Are you just, are you stupid? Teachers who, who agree to it and who are for it should be allowed to be armed in schools. Uh, you know, that's probably the last, last step I would go towards personally arming security and, and tripling security. And putting up some fucking metal detectors. Man, that's not very hard to do. You put a metal detector by a door, you, you have uh, maybe a, 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 a bulletproof glass door in front of it. If the metal detector goes off and it, and it detects a, a weapon, then that door in front of it seals shut and people can't come in or come out. You know, or at least people can't come in. People can still come out. You got to think of ways to protect children, but taking away guns is just going to keep, you know, these people, you can't take away every gun. There's millions of guns in the country. There are more guns than there are people. You can't outlaw them. If you, if you try to do an, uh, a buyback system or outlaw guns, there's just too many. People are going to have them. People have guns from their grandparents and, and, and from their great-grandparents. They're out there. And in trying to uh, you know pass judgment on people for believing in the Constitution of this country, this is America. I'm sorry. You might be 18 years old, 16 years old. You might not understand where you're from or where you were born. But this is the fucking country of the land of the free. We have rights here. And you getting emotional because someone you know was hurt. Hey, everybody goes through things. I'm sorry. But you're not going to take away my right to protect my family. You're not going to take away my right to protect my property because you're emotional about things. We got these anti-gun lobbyists just, just running and dancing in the street because now we have children threatening politicians. I'm going to vote you out unless you go ahead and try it. People like me are raising my children to understand something. This is America. We have a constitution. And some people respect it. And I'm raising mine to respect it. And respect this country and, and the rights and gifts that it's given me. So, you know, the funny thing is, some people are out in the open and, and just yelling from the, the rooftops. They're disdain for our constitution. They're disdain for our law. They're disdain for our f federal immigration law. They're disdain for any law they don't like. They're just not going to do it. And they might be screaming real loud, but I'll tell you like this. The same way Donald Trump won in 2016, there are people who aren't saying shit and who understand what's going on, who are watching these children, adults and children, screaming that somehow legal gun ownership and people who are pro Second Amendment and pro NRA are murdering children, are snickering and smiling at the screen because they know 2018's coming at the end of this year, the midterms, and they know 2020's coming. You can't erase what this country has been in, in, in two generations. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. There are too many people out there, like myself, 
who will, will stand and fight and die for the rights that this country has afforded me. And a bunch of whining, sniveling people from California or one of, another one of these liberal states that don't understand that we have laws here, we have rights here. I don't give a damn what you think. I don't care if you don't understand the rights of other people. If you want to infringe on my rights because it makes you feel more comfortable, keep your ass in your cave and don't come outside. You know what? The real world is uncomfortable. People are going to say things you don't like. People are going to offend you. Every, everybody's offended nowadays. Everybody gets so frustrated over everything. There's not one fucking thing you can say without people crying and snickering and, 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 and yelling and I'm offended and I'm hurt. Be a goddamn adult. How the hell can we raise children if we act like children? And yeah, I was a little frustrated. This is one of the things I want to start doing uh, on the channel. There's a lot of things I really want to talk to you guys about. This whole situation with the guns, the transgender uh, uh, service is another one I really want to talk about that's kind of you know important to me and I want to express my point. Uh, so look forward to that and, and give a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. I know this has been a while since I've actively put a video out here, but you know, I just cut my hair, hopped out of the shower, and I'm listening. Uh, to the news in, in my bathroom and I'm listening to this madness and I'm thinking people are 30, 40, 50 years old and they understand the fundamental values of America. Why are we pretending now because children are in the street saying my feelings are hurt, you're killing children. Why are we pretending like this is a valid argument? It's a non-argument. It's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Of course, I don't want to hurt children. I have five of my own. Of course, I want to protect your children the same way I want to protect mine. But if you start saying crazy shit like me having the right to bear arms or bear what type of arms that I want to protect my property and my family is somehow murdering children and infringing on your right, then you need to get the fuck out of here. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.